Hey hot dogs, today I'm going to discuss an idea that might fundamentally change the way that you approach your work. So the idea is, if we want to achieve quality, it's actually more important to think about quantity rather than quality itself. Now I know it seems like a crazy idea, but just trust me on this, it's actually worked for me. And this idea comes from a book that I read called Art and Fear. It's one of the most impactful books that I've ever read about artistry, and I highly recommend that you read it as well. The uh, link is in the caption below. And in this book, there's a ceramics professor, and the ceramics professor divided one of his classes into two groups. There's group A, which is the quality group, and he told everyone in the quality group, by the end of this class, I want you to deliver me one sculpture, and you'll be graded on the quality of this one sculpture. Now group B was the quantity group, and he told everyone in this group, by the end of this class, I want you to deliver as many sculptures as you possibly can, and you'll be graded on the quantity of sculptures that you deliver. Now when the end of the course came around, it actually turned out that the sculptures from the quantity group were better than the sculptures in the quality group. To me, this was mind-blowing, and I took these ideas and I actually changed the way that I approach my own music. So the big question is, why were the quantity sculptures better than the quality sculptures? Well, for me, when I was in my quality mode of music making, I was obsessing over perfection. I was constantly thinking about, why isn't the music that's right here, over here? I was treading water, I had a lot of anxiety, and sometimes I would even have a lot of anger towards my own work because I was so fully aware of that gap of where I wanted to be. But after I switched to this quantity mindset, my, my frame of thinking changed. For one, I was finishing a lot of work, and every time I finished work, I learned much more about my process from A to B. As opposed to in the quality world, I only knew about half of the artistic process. Once I have a much more comfortable grasp of the full artistic process from start to finish, I'm able to learn from my mistakes for an entire piece of work, as opposed to getting stuck in the middle optimizing over little things that don't maybe matter as much in the big picture. Beyond that, I'm able to enjoy the process much more. I'm not beating myself up over what I want something to be versus thinking about what something actually is. I've learned to accept mediocrity, and I've learned to be comfortable with something not being perfect. Now this sounds somewhat counterintuitive, yes, but it turns out that if we continue finishing mediocre pieces of work, those little pieces of mediocre work slowly get better and better and better over time. We're standing on our shoulders from our previous self, continuously improving. And that rate of continuous self-improvement, finishing many pieces of work over time, is actually much more efficient than spending a lot of time trying to perfect one piece of work. So one main idea that derives from this is finish your work. It's very, very important to get to that finish line as often as you possibly can. Even if you think it's mediocre, even if you know it's not perfect, even if what you created isn't exactly in line with what you wanted to do, do everything in your power to finish your work, to build your collection, to build your catalog, and you'll see that quality pieces of work start to emerge at a much faster rate than if you're obsessed with perfection on every single piece. There's an analogy outside of music in my life, which is playing chess. I love the game and I want to become great. I am not going to spend the next few months playing one chess game where I analyze and dissect every single move for weeks or months. I'm going to play as many games as I can across many different opponents. I'm going to lose many of these games, but each game that I lose is an opportunity for me to go back and reflect on all the mistakes that I've made throughout the process. Also, chess has a beginning game, a middle game, and an end game. If I finish all these games, I'm learning about the multiple phases of the process from start to finish. The same thing applies in music. If you're just going from your start point to your idea point, and you're not finishing your work, you're missing out on a big chunk of that process which you really, really need to understand to fill that gap to go from start to finish. So, long story short, finish as much work as you possibly can. Be okay with work not being perfect, accept mediocrity. All these things sound counterintuitive to greatness, but if you stick with them, you'll find that quality naturally emerges at a much faster rate. If this idea resonated with you at all, or even if it didn't, I strongly encourage you to try it. But either way, I have a whole series of these, so you can subscribe on YouTube here. I do a lot of high-level talks on artistry. I do big, big deep dives into Ableton, dissecting tracks and seeing what all the elements that make it up are. And I also have a Discord community where we talk about artistry, plugins, tech, creativity, and stuff like this. So check that out if you want. And until next time, please finish your work. Bye.